boozy chocolate trifles. So I'm just making the chocolate sheet cake that I've made for years, and I made a mixture of buttermilk, egg, and vanilla. So I have butter sizzling away, and I'm adding two heaping spoonfuls of unsweetened cocoa powder. And I'll stir this mixture, and now I can add some boiling water. So now I just need to bring this to a really gentle boil. It won't take too long. Okay, this is looking great, so I'm gonna turn the heat off, and I'll add the dry ingredients right into the saucepan. So a cup of self-rising flour, and a cup of sugar, and a little pinch of salt, and then stir it around. And when the flour and sugar pretty much disappear in the chocolate mixture, then it's time to add the buttermilk mixture. And I just kind of pour it in slowly and move it around as I add it, just so it doesn't cook that egg that's in the buttermilk. Okay, the cake batter looks exactly as it should. So I'm gonna get it in the pan, and I'm using a quarter sheet pan because this is all I'm gonna need for the trifles. Scrape that. If Todd or Lad were here, they would lick the bowl, <laughs> lick the pan. So I'm gonna spread it into the corners. All right, it's all spread out. So I'm gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. So while the cake bakes, I am gonna make a simple berry sauce, kind of a berry compote, and it's gonna be part of the delicious chocolate trifles. And I've got two kinds of berries, chopped up strawberries and a bunch of fresh raspberries. Four tablespoons of sugar, and better turn off the heat. <laughs> Forgot, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange liqueur just to get this party started. <laughs> turn the heat back on. Okay, and then I'll just stir these around and start to bring the whole mixture to a gentle boil. All right, this berry mixture is looking good. So I wanna thicken it up a bit, and the best way to do that is to add a cornstarch slurry, and I've had it sitting, so I'm just stirring it up, and I'll pour it in, and you need to let it bubble a little bit at this point to really, really thicken. So that's just gonna take two or three more minutes. Look at this beautiful berry sauce. So I'm gonna turn off the heat, and it'll just sit there and get thicker as it comes to room temperature. So I am going to whip some chocolate whipped cream. The chocolate whipped cream has three ingredients cream, a couple of rounded tablespoons of cocoa powder, and a couple of tablespoons of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna whip the cream until stiff peaks form, and then I'll assemble the trifles. So the chocolate cake is baked and cooled, and I just cut it into small squares, and I'm gonna start building the beautiful desserts and just drop spoonfuls over the cake. And next comes this incredibly luscious chocolate whipped cream. So before I build another layer, I've got just good old chocolate syrup. And now one more layer, just like that. Goodness, that looks glorious. And then I think I can fit in a little half strawberry. And then I'm gonna have these cute little desserts to take down to the house to serve all those beautiful ladies. 